Hey guys, Mike Warren here. Hey listen, I want to talk to you for a couple of minutes about how to make yourself judgment proof and protect all of your assets. Now, some of you may know, uh, and I'm, I'm actually sitting in my car by the way, uh, I just dropped my son off at a Boy Scout meeting and uh, I figured uh, I was thinking about this particular topic on, on uh, how to make yourself judgment proof and protecting all of your assets. And so I thought I would actually uh, just do a, a little video kind of explaining this. And some of you know that uh, one of my specialties is that I actually collect and make money from judgments all the time. And, and I do this as a business. And judgments are very, very lucrative. Well, we all know that in, in America, we are a sue happy society. And what that means, or another way of looking at that, is a little over 120 million lawsuits are filed in this country every single year. Well, what that means to you is that for the average person in America today, you, the average person is sued three times in their lifetime. Think about that. You get sued three times in your lifetime, and we don't want you to have to worry about all of your assets, the things that you work hard for either in a regular job or you're investing or your retirement plans. We don't want all of those assets to be seizable or taken by a creditor for a one-time occurrence where something happened that, uh, you know, you, to no fault of your own that you ended up getting sued, and you don't want to lose all of your assets. You want to be able to pass that on to your family, to your heirs, whatever it is. Well, you know, there are certain things that I don't even bother going after. And let, let me give you an example. Um, how would you like to, let's say that you were involved in a lawsuit, whether it was a business deal, a, a real estate transaction, auto accident, whatever it is, okay? And you were involved in, in, a, uh, in a lawsuit and you lost and you were awarded a judgment against you for a million bucks. Now, that would really suck. <laughs> I, I think we'd all agree it would suck. Um, so you were awarded a judgment for a million dollars. Well... Keep in mind that I collect on judgments, right? Well, there are certain ways that I won't even bother to collect on that judgment against you if you were holding your assets in a very specific way. On top of that, how about, how about this? <laughs> You're going to like this, okay? You might want to actually write this one down. So grab a pencil. How about if you had a judgment against you for a million dollars, and let's say I attempted to collect that judgment against you for that million dollars, guess what you could do? You could say, well, Mike, thank you very much for trying to collect it, but at the end of the year, guess what's going to happen? Well, first off, I wouldn't be able to collect it, and at the end of the year, I would get a tax bill for that million dollars as income, because now that million dollars that I never collected would be considered income to me. Now, how would you like to turn the tables on the creditors when that happens? Would you like to turn the tables on, on, well, don't do it to me, okay? <laughs> but would you like to turn it to uh, turn the tables on other creditors when they come after you? Uh, you can say, okay, well, you can come after me. One, you can't get the assets. And two, you're going to pay the tax bill, the tax liability on that asset that you were never able to collect on. How about that? <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty cool when you do things the right way. Well, this week I've actually got a webinar where I, I've got a friend of mine. His name's Lee Phillips, and I've known Lee for oh gosh, over 15 years now. And Lee teaches you, teaches me, because I use some of Lee's stuff myself, okay, how to protect yourself from people like me. <laughs> Wait, I think I just dissed myself. That's not good. Um, but <laughs> uh, what you can do, though, is that you can actually protect yourself from other creditors and from the IRS, okay? So how you can set up your entire um, business and the way that you operate things. For instance, let, let's say that you're an investor and you want to buy real estate or you're a landlord. And if you own property in a land trust, folks, I want to tell you this right now. If you have stuff in a land trust and you think you're protected, I guarantee you, if you had a judgment against you and I was collecting that judgment, I could come after that property and I could pierce through that land trust like it was butter, like it wasn't even there even. Because a land trust will not protect you. You need to set up your assets a very specific way. So, with that in mind, uh, here, here's what, what I want you to do. We're doing a webinar. I'm going to have my, my buddy Lee Phillips. He's going to come on and show you how to set up your entire estates, how to avoid this land trust issue, how to use LLCs properly, how to beat the IRS, and how to make yourself judgment proof. So you need to get on the webinar this Wednesday, okay? So click on the link that's either below the, this video or, or off to the left over here, one of the two. Uh, click on that link or go to uh, uh, misuniversity.com forward slash webinar. Sign up for the webinar. It's free, okay? They're always free. 
uh, come to the webinar, sign up, get on the call, learn how to protect yourself and make yourself judgment proof. And uh, also comment on this video. Let me know what you think about it. I would really appreciate some feedback. So until next time, everybody, you all have a great day, great uh, weekend, and we'll see you on the call. Bye for now. See you later.